Well, hello again, all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews, back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is a beer from Pipe Dream Brewing Company out of Londonderry, New Hampshire. This is the Pop That Chocolate Covered Coconut. It is a coconut infused sour stout, clocking in at 10% alcohol. There's no date on this can, so I have no idea how old it is, but it has been sitting in the back of my girlfriend's refrigerator for probably eight months to a year. 10% alcohol though should hold up pretty well, uh, although I'm not sure how the sour component's going to really come into play. Anyway, I already poured it up. It poured very dark brown. When I hold it up to the light, you can see brown. The bottom of the glass, no head unfortunately. It did pour with just a tiny bit of head, but it died down immediately. And it definitely has that flat look to it. The aroma with this beer, very surprising, very pleasant. You're getting coconut and chocolate. There's a little bit of like a sour note in there, or lactic type note. But it definitely is coconut forward. Very, very nice with the coconut aroma, which I love. Coconut stouts, porter stouts are some of my favorites. I love coconut and chocolate flavors. So in a beer, uh, it's just, I mean, what more could you ask for? It smells incredible. None of the 10% alcohol is coming through on the nose. It doesn't really put off a super roasty, toasty, like bready malt note on the nose. It just chocolate and coconut are, are the two primary aromas that I'm getting. It smells delightful. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Very nice. The coconut's the first thing you get, followed by chocolate. There is a little bit of like a sour note all the way through the sip, but it's not overpowering. It's an interesting combination. It's a nice balance between the sweet and the coconut, and then a little bit of that sour. It's interesting. It's different. It's unique. Uh, none of the 10% alcohol is coming through on the palate either. It's very smooth. It definitely has a creamy mouthfeel. The carbonation is really the only gripe I have with this beer. There's pretty much no carbonation. It's flat. A little bit of that carbonation, a little bit of head would have been nice uh, on this beer. But the body is more on the medium side. It's not full-on heavy. It doesn't have that thick, viscous, uh, viscous um, body and mouth feel. It doesn't cling to the insides of your cheeks. It's not that motor oil type thickness. It's very smooth for a 10 percenter, and it doesn't uh, linger very much, which is nice. A lot of times you get these heavier ABV stouts, and they, they're sticky, and they linger, and you can drink you know, a few sips, and, and then after that, it's like, it's just too much. It's one and done. You could probably drink a couple of these, I think, uh, because it is a little bit lighter body. It's not super sticky. It's not overly sweet. The sourness kind of gives it an interesting dimension that you don't get with a lot of regular stouts, and I think it cuts through some of the sweetness of the chocolate and the coconut. Um, it's really a delightful beer. I am pleasantly surprised. I, I was not expecting this to be as good as it is. Um, but like I said earlier, if you like coconut, I think you're really going to love this beer because it is definitely coconut forward. The chocolate is nice too. And then the sourness, like I said, is just kind of minimal. It's, it's there, but it's not over the top. And it really balances out with the other flavors in the beer without being too powerful and overriding the palate. So with all that being said, I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100 for the Pop That Chocolate Covered Coconut. Coconut Infused Sour Stout from Pipe Dream Brewing Company out of Londonderry, New Hampshire. Buy it. Try it. Let me know what you guys think. 96 out of 100. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.